Hey everybody, this is not a Scream Chick, and the big news today is that the unions are intending to teach everybody a lesson. We've been hearing about it yesterday, late, and I'm curious if they're actually going to be doing it this afternoon. They had 1,200 workers um, that were slated to, to picket to shut down LAX. And it's not just LAX that's being affected, they're planning on doing it in all the major airports. And to top it off, not only is it Oh yes, the travel day because of course they're not getting what, not that they might inconvenience you, but they're not getting what they need. Um, and also the other plan is to shut down Black Friday. We'll, we'll see what happens. So for now we're going to bring Old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Oh, they like that background. Yeah. Who knows? And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, because the Republicans are going to have to cave in to the demands of the Democratic Party and uh, raise taxes on the wealthy. In return, you're going to raise more taxes on businesses. And in return, you're going to raise taxes on uh, union people. In return, the Democrats aren't going to give the Republicans anything in return because as they did say this morning, the economy is in too fragile a, a position right now to cut programs that people need for life support. In fact, we have to add more. They're not talking about cutting spending, they're talking about adding more, which means the money that they're getting from the Republicans in return for doing nothing is going to be put into more government spending, not reducing the deficit. And Obama deserves credit for Israel's Iron Dome. Oh, oh I, I, the day we have little Bunny Obama, which is another member of Monty's family, she's starting because I have money. But Bunny says specifically, Bunny doesn't make noises, but Bunny says, when in the hell did he get involved with anything to keep Israel out of trouble? He had nothing to do with the missile defense. He, in fact, tried to stop the sale of the missile defense things to Israel and the, and the Congress, including, there's a lot of Democrats in Congress in both houses. They just simply went beyond him and sent him the stuff. And basically, the missile defense system that he didn't like, it actually works. They shoot down 90% of the missiles coming at them. Golly, that's making me think, oh, well, anyway, we'll get back to Israel. Yeah. <laughs> it's making me wonder why, you know, with everything going on in Israel and everything hitting them, why I haven't seen more with all the Jewish people in the entertainment community being out on Facebook. Huh? Because the Jewish people in the entertainment community voted for Obama. Mm. Uh huh. And basically, Obama was tipped off that this was all going to happen, which is why he's been out. He's coming back to the country right after the ceasefire is going to be arranged. Amazing Isn't that amazing? How that happens. Yeah, it's amazing how that does happen. He leaves before the first missile is fired, comes back after the last missile is fired. So is he taking responsibility for the ceasefire? Yeah. Oh. He's mm -hmm. taking responsibility for the ceasefire. And Obama deserves credit. Oh, well, judge backs high-speed rail over farmers. But that one... What? Judge say? backs high speed rail over farmers. Oh yeah, that, that's, they're they're still doing it. They went to the court. They went to court again, and this California Supreme Court now has basically said, up oh, you know, f you to the farmers, because it's too important. There is nobody in. Oh, oh. oh yeah, no, he does make a noise. That there's uh, nobody. I'm not going to use a rail system from Bakersfield across the state of California. Why? Because whenever you get to where you're going, you have no means of transportation. Mm -hmm. And is it going to save you any time? Well, it's not even going to be ready for a decade. Mm -hmm. By that time, I'll be 90 years old. I mean, basically, little, you know, you know, Bunny Obama won't even be around because Monty would have gotten rid of her because she no longer makes a noise. <laughs> and Florida socialite and Petraea Scandal feel scared. Yeah, yeah oh, it's amazing. Is they, uh, her sister hired Gloria Allred to protect her from, from Trachis and Allen. You, you know, mm. so, uh, I mean, this, they said that anywhere where there's a, pro, a scandal, Gloria Allred is there to hold a press conference. They said, we've met Gloria Allred. She's not really the Wicked Witch of the West, folks. No, she's not, but she's really good. You know, and I, I don't know if, she, if Gloria Allred seeks him out, but I also know there's a lot of people that seek out Gloria Allred. Because they want the publicity. Okay, mm -hmm. Gloria Allred is a, 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 a lawyer that basically does not go to court if she get appointed. She tries to milk the whole situation. If you do enough embarrassment of people, they pay you off to get rid of you. That's what she is. She's a she, and she's good at it. Yeah, because she's she played the PR thing. We, we've talked to her online. She's a really you know, yeah. When we say she plays the PR thing, she even goes on red carpets with her clients. Yeah, 
I mean, but I'd rather have Gloria Allred on the red carpet with a client than a lot of other the lawyers. That's absolutely because true. Because she's not there to keep she's not there to keep you from reporting on the clients. Well, she wants you to talk to her clients. Well, you know what? That's the great part. Is she does. She wants you to talk to the clients, and she doesn't put any restrictions. She just lets you talk to them. Because she needs to have the publicity. So she's a it's, it's the oxymoron. She's. You know, she's a lawyer that everyone despises, but she's a lawyer you can do business with in mm -hmm. the industry. Yeah. And in Benghazi testimony, Petraea says, Al-Qaeda role known early. Oh, okay. They threw, the, they, the yesterday they threw the head of the security agencies under the wheels of the bus yesterday. He admitted that he's the one that changed it. After he testified in front of Congress a week ago, after he had been telling the press since ben, 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 Benghazi, that it was uh, not, a, you know, that they didn't have know what who did it and what happened. Uh, and then yesterday, the CBS reported that he did admit that he was the one that changed it all, and he changed it all for guess what reasons? Why? It, it had nothing to do with the election. It all had to do with we wanted to protect our sources of information, of which even the guy on CBS they said. Uh, when they took the facilities, they took all of the documents and they knew exactly who everyone was and they all ended up dead the same day. And he said, well, we can't discuss that. Which, mm -hmm. you know, they said what they did was, I mean, John McCain said, he, he, he said, he said, he, gets, you know, he said, this is a gang that can't shoot straight. But all they had to do was the day one say what everyone knew it was, but they were afraid it would step on his line, which he stopped after he got caught. You know, Bin Laden is dead, and uh, and 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 Al Qaeda is on the run. Well, since Al Qaeda is not full strength again, and he, I wouldn't bet on I wouldn't bet on Bin Laden being dead by Obama's hands either, folks. Now, yeah. the U.S. heading for another crash. Debt crisis looms. Top economists. Yeah, well, Republicans are going Republicans are going to give revenue, knowing the Democrats are not going to say it. And like this morning, they brought out a tape with uh, with the Democrats over a hundred times in the last a year alone discussing how Republicans need to cut this stuff. They need to raise revenue. They need to do this. They need to do that. And now since Obama won the election, well, revenue isn't going to do it. We have to have taxes raised, which, that, okay, here's the trick is, which is going to raise the most money by the, the Pew Institute? All the mathematicians will tell you, raising taxes on the 2% are cutting the loopholes and the deduction. Taxes, loophole. Ta the loophole and the deduction will raise 10 times more money. Mm -hmm. And Obama in Asia says, me and Mark Trip to encourage democracy. Uh, I mean, uh, okay, okay, little bunny Obama says, uh, no, it's there so he can learn from the dictators how, how to crush opposition. And Penn State seeks to halt suit by Sandusky whistleblower. Well, you know, you can't sue the people for, um, okay, this is ridiculous. You, you do, the guy that blows the whistle is wanting to be paid by, and by the university for blowing the whistle and getting him in trouble, and this university basically said no way on earth, so they filed suit against him for blackmail. Mm. So, um, and now, first of all, my father was a police officer. My father's number one rule, he'd always, he'd, when he'd see a bad movie being made, he'd tell me and the rest of the fat kids. He said, well, we're doing a movie today where 30 years after somebody was, uh, was, Ill, was kissed without their permission, they go to court to bring charges about being kissed without their permission or, or other sort of things like that. And he said, that doesn't happen in the real world. That's a lawyer's idea is to bring suit. People do not go, you know, well, I'm not going to tell somebody 30 years ago when I was sweet 16 that, that you know, that the, you know, the gargoyle kissed me without my permission. It would ruin my reputation. They don't do that. They bury the stuff and walk away from it. And Facebook offering a retailer's sales tracking tool. Oh, God. That, that, you know what the sales tracking tool is? It's, <laughs> it's just basically they give everybody your phone number. Ooh. Yeah. And eBay sued over, oh, will not recruit agreement with Intuit. Yeah, uh, that's basically, that was, it. that was even bigger today than it was a couple of days ago. The simple fact that uh, they, uh, they, in, they, did, they were told, they were buying into it, they stopped buying into it, so then they, they, the people that they were talking to at Intuit left the company and came over to, he came over to, uh, over to the other side, and then they took the information with them, which put Intuit basically out of business. Oh, that's what happened to Intuit. Yeah. 
Oh. Yeah, I put them out of business because the other company knew what was going on. Uh -huh. So it is against the law, folks. There is a, there's a confidential thing that basically if you quit your job, you're not allowed to speak about things for like X amount of months. You're not even that allowed to go get a job. If you get fired, it's basically like 30 days after you're fired. All, you, all hell can break loose because they figure you fire this guy, then it's called tough. Mm -hmm. And Samsung goes after HTC deal to undercut Apple. Yeah, because Apple, okay, Apple is on the run. Since they turned out the iPhone 5, the stock has went from 700 to right above 500. The iPad, they've done nothing right since Jobs died, nothing. And they're, they're basically eating themselves now. You know, they're, they're getting rid of all the people that Jobs put in place to run the company after him because we know better than they know. I mean, we, I can guarantee you, we, we had an example of this the other day. Oh, a person that's been in business forever, god awful, really experienced kid, sent out uh, a thing and he sent it out to everybody in the known universe and they charged him with spamming. Oh. So the young people don't know as much. There's a reason why you do things in a manner you're doing so you don't get into trouble. Mm hmm. Anna Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, it's very simple. Monty and her family wishes everybody a safe and happy and food filled Thanksgiving.